Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fanatic Official, your honest guide to the cryptoverse. Today I'm going to talk about ChainGPT. A lot of you already know about the project, especially if you're in the IDEO and Launchpad space and you're riding the wave of artificial intelligence or AI projects in the Web3 or crypto industry. So ChainGPT is offering multiple solutions such as AI chatbot, dev assistant, you know, having AI generated news, NFT trading bot and also going to have a layer one blockchain, like a VM, virtual machine. So it's the next generation virtual machines offering a combination of the NVM compa compatibility and on-chain AI. So it's gonna basically bring the entire AI uh, power into blockchain and anything you need for crypto blockchain related topics, you could use the product. It already um, provides software, uh, smart contract development, things like risk management for anti-money laundering, helps you with chart analysis uh, and things that you need uh, when you're developing a new project in Web3. So the top solutions out of what I've described is the, the dev for smart contracts, the API kit for Chain GPT SDK. So software development kit, you can have the advanced AI training, and trading and you can also have the analytics of blockchain so understand analytics of how people are using your um, token and services it's pro probably i would say one of the most comprehensive products that they have more information of course you can have in the white paper here which i'm going to put the link and also when you go to the app so they have an app you can connect your wallet which is beyond this video i'm trying to keep it short but Basically, here you can uh, select the Chain GPT AI model, whether you want to uh, use, use it to ask AI-related questions, uh, a little bit similar to ChatGPT, or do you want to have a um, smart contract generator? So you can generate a smart contract on Solidity. It's going to be your dev assistant or a dev body, like how GitHub is now having that sort of body thing. Um, Chain GPT can write it for you. And also you can audit smart contracts with this as well. So, and now they also have uh, Ask Crypto People feature, which is a new feature that they have developed um, where you come here and you can ask different people questions about, um, you know, for example, what do you think about Chat GPT? And then they're gonna give you an answer based on um, the characters that they have. So that's also a cool feature beyond the project. And um, going through the pitch tech also, as I said, they're creating the advanced AI blockchain um, for crypto, lots of problems they're trying to address. And uh, the competitive analysis that they have, they're comparing it to ChatGPT, Jasper AI, Seamless AI. And they're all valuations, um, even with the smallest one with only 300,000 users, they have a valuation of 100 million all the way to chat GPT being 29 billion. Now, if they manage to become, a, by the way, this is um, what I was testing. So if you test the product here and select the product and say, what do you think about chat GPT? Uh, then they come and answer it. So, they even sort of create that AI to think the same way as someone like Jack Dorsey. I'm not gonna go through it, but I'll put the link for you to play around. It's pretty cool. You know, I, I'm really interested in the whole AI concept. Um, well, as I was saying, if you compare it to other products, they're comparing it to ChatGPT, which is, uh, this is a you know, web two plus web three when you think about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is more of a web three, but what they're saying is ChatGPT is 1% of AI trained on blockchain related topics, whereas ChainGPT is 95%. So that is correct. That's a unique advantage that this product has being focused on Web3 and having 95% coverage. Model types are three, which I've covered just now. And uh, there's only one model for ChatGPT connected to the internet. Um, ChainGPT is um, blockchain analytics. So anything to do with blockchain, you know, smart contract, code debugging, blockchain, live on-chain data, AML, decentralized on-chain AI model, SDK for blockchain. This is what Chain GPT provides, which ChatGPT cannot pro provide. Um, so they are pre creating the ChatGPT of Web3. That's how I would call it. 
Um, the primary target for this would be the startups in Web3, retail investors, traders, institutional researchers, Web3 businesses, and also blockchain developers. The size of market, um, you know, you don't need to go through this, but basically now we have a total market cap of 1.1 billion uh, trillion in um, crypto. So that's a pretty sizable amount. And we have thousands of projects. So the value add they have, they can have savings for the individuals. They can provide decentralized models and non-biased AI tools. So it's a really much needed tool. And the problem with a lot of other products I see in the space is they haven't done the product development. They're not ready yet in the space, unfortunately. So having something like this that you can try the beta version and test the models here puts them in a, a severe advantage compared to other products. So that's really good for them. And also they have the business model here, right? So the beta is free, which is what I showed you. You can do free access to chain GPT, limited calls, slower response, not always available. The pair prompt plan, so pair request plan is five GGPT token and 0% uh, downtime always available. Same if you want the advanced, except it's uh, you just stake tokens. So you stake 10,000 chain GPT tokens per month. And then you get monthly subscription basically for the project. So that monthly subscription is for people who are going to use this, you know, more and more often. Then they've got the business API. So as a business user, you could get a developer access, three chain GPT per call, um, five chain GPT per call, or that's enterprise one that's custom. Uh, this is coming later on for the project. And, um, uh, that's in terms of the services they can provide. I can put the link for you again here to sort of understand what they have. And also they have the product comparison. So as you can see, they've already thought through all of this, just like a web two product, but in web three. So as, as day one comes, they are ready to go basically. Now, in terms of the token utility and tokenomics, which are my favorite topics, let's, um, jump into it and future roadmap we'll talk about it later but in terms of the token um, utility obviously the main utility for the token would be to use the product so uh, apart from having the ability to have it for staking ability to have it for um let me actually find it here so we have oh they had a chat gpt versus change gpt yeah. actually it's pretty cool so Apart from the parts I've mentioned, so the this is the chain GPT token. And you can use it for voting. So that's for the DAO system. You can access the chain GPT AI model, which I just mentioned. Based on the plan you want to use, you use the chain GPT CGPT token, DAO access and voting, obviously for different uh, reasons that you want to accept the proposals or participate staking and farming opportunities for the token burn mechanism so burning is a capability that's going to happen for the token for price liquidity providing and here you can see the token sale smart contract and it's, it's really good that they've got all the details here so token sale you can see the token sale here and uh, understand where they're going to do the sale and all the detail you need. Um, it's really good that they update everything, I think, daily. I haven't seen that in many other projects. It, it, this is the staking and farming. So I really encourage you to go to the um, white paper documentation and read more. But yeah, these are the utilities for the token. And now the tokenomics part, I'll be quicker because I got feedback about this from you. So the token valuation, fully diluted value right now when they launch is going to be 8 million, which is um, quite reasonable compared to other products in the space. The initial market cap will be only 194,000, which is really low. Um, and the circulating supply will be 6.4% of the token on token generation event. Total supply is 1 billion. The initial price for the token is going to be 008 so just under one cent basically now looking at the tokenomics in more detail private a and private b are six percent of the token each so 12 percent of the token is for private sale 
a total private sale around seven hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, tokens were sold the private a is starting at half a cent and their unlock is only three and a half percent in tge there's going to be three months cliff 21 month unlock whereas private b starts seven percent release after the token generation event same three months cliff and then 17 months of unlock for the token public and KOL round. So for the KOL round, the price is slightly cheaper being 0 0.072, just a little bit cheaper than the IDO round. 10% unlock, two months cliff, 12 months unlock followed by that. Public round is gonna have 15% unlock of the token at the price that I've mentioned earlier, two months cliff and eight months of linear vesting, a total of 10 months after that. So total of 10 months post TGE will be the token vesting. Liquidity will take 20%. And by the way, this is 6 and 6, uh, 12 and 9, 21. So 24%, a little bit high, but remember, this is a low valuation project. So that's why they're raising a total of, I think, 1.6 uh, million, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now, going back to the economics, liquidity is 20%. They're going to unlock monthly to fight the inflation and uh, sell pressure, there's gonna be 20% release on TGE. Team is going to have 12% of the tokenomics, six months lock, and then vesting of 36 months after that. Development, three months lock, 24 months unlock after that. Advisory is going to have a lock for five months, and then 24 months unlock after that. DAO is having a six month lock, and then 54 months after that, and then reserve six months lock, 36 months, marketing one month lock, 24 months, and then the farming for four years. So that's the tokenomics. As you can see, very um, slow unlock and very low valuation. So that's really good for a project. Uh, and they calculated the selling pressure as well here in case people are selling. So they've thought through the whole model and being an AI project, they could probably use AI to help them with some of these um, information as well in the future. Now, the roadmap pretty much uh, focuses now on the IDO and uh, AI model and applications that I've went through and the listing. And then the AI blockchain smart contract side of things will be in Q3 and Q4. In terms of partnerships and team, so the, the team has, uh, people who are mix of business people. So the CEO is someone who's been uh, in different businesses and uh, especially in the real estate space of seven figure companies. And um, same as the uh, chief operating officers, whereas people like Adnan and others have, uh, by the way, you can see all of them on LinkedIn. So they're very accessible. They even have Telegram you can message. So, you know, they're not hidden. You can find them on Telegram. You can find them on um, LinkedIn. And Adnan and a few others are people who are very well experienced in the field of um, artificial intelligence and development of AI model and training data on machine learning, basically. Now, um, in terms of partnerships, they have built partnerships with different companies like uh, Decubate, the engine starter, Pools, CD5, of course, uh, CD5 Incubated, Ferrum Network, Yay Network, um, VPAT, Kangaroo Capital, and many other companies and VCs, basically. Now, in terms of social media, they are doing actually quite well. So 160,000 followers on Twitter, and that's organic, and it's grown rapidly. Uh, 15,000 members on Discord, to uh, 31,000 members on Telegram. And this actually grown, I think, dabbled over the last week. So that shows how much hype the project has right now. And uh, the timeline of the IDO, I think, is the reason for it. Now, I'm really amazed by the social media growth that they have, and they're doing really aggressive marketing. They actually are giving away, by the way, if you want, um, they're giving away $15,000 worth of tokens. I'll share the link for the Glim competition if you want to join. 
Now, in terms of launch pads, they're launching all four. CD4, I'm not going to go through it. So CD4 is one of them. Um, Engine Starter is going to have a raise of $100,000. And to participate, you need to be, it's an exclusive IDO. So you need to be uh, staking 500000 or more Engine Starter token to be on the multiverse tier. And that needs to happen before the 3rd of April. On the 3rd of April, you come here. You register interest. This will be activated for you. Register interest. You have a day to do it. Once you register your interest, you um, your wallet will be listed. And you can participate basically in the IDO on the 6th. So register interest again one more time. 3rd of April. IDO dates on the 6th for contribution on the guaranteed round. VPAD. $100,000 worth of token, 100000 and five days from now, same, same, you register now, you go to their website, you register your interest, and um, here is you connect wallet and register, and get an allocation, so don't forget, on the uh, sixth also, there's going to be an IDU on VPAT, tools, um, there is something wrong with my, uh, from when I'm looking at pools, but don't worry about that. So what you need to do basically, you go to uh, pools website on the 5th of April is the IDO. So you need to go now to pools website and um, maybe I'll just open a new browser. No, it's okay. I'll not open a new browser. Basically you, you need to go to pools website. And when you go to the whitelist, there's gonna be a pop-up button where you can join whitelist for um, pools and that's going to give you access to join the whitelist for the project you need to have 250 pools token or more staked before that pool x token this is a new token that they have by the way make sure you buy the new one not the old one and on the fifth basically they show you the whitelist eligibility and you can participate in the IDO. i have a tiktok channel for pools Make sure you follow my TikTok channel and you can see actually all the detail on how to participate in that. So that's with that. And then the listing is going to be, obviously um, they've secured a few exchanges, a few of them are tier one. I can't name them, but if you followed my videos, you can see the trend of the sort of exchanges that come. So yes, it's one of those. And um, obviously the token is on Binance chain. So they're going to also be uh, probably, I would say, in PancakeSwap. This thing is on the 10th of April. So IDO on Pools is 5th of April. IDO on VPAD and Engine Starter is on the 6th of April. IDO on um, CD5 is on the 7th. And for VPAD, obviously, you also need to stake tokens. Um, you can go to the staking, stake tokens, and that's all. And you've seen my previous video, so you should know by now how to participate. In terms of market and how I feel, market is quite good. And to compare this project, I would compare it. So market is pretty good. We don't have a big dump. And even if we have a big dump, it takes a few days. So I think that this project is safe from any particular dump. But I would compare this project you know, to something like CryptoGPT started at a market cap of 300K and now started at a price of 0 0.005 and now it's still 16X. So at a 16X after one or two months from IDO and started from 300K market cap, I would see, a, I would say 15, I'm no financial advice, but the 15 to 20X is not unlikely for um, chain GPT given the market cap starts very low at less than 200k i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you like please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or comments about these projects make sure you ask in the comment section or contact me on twitter or telegram and i'm working with the project very closely so they are more than happy to be responsive to me and also i love your comments just like how you commented about making a shorter video Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.